Hello, I am at the Deer Lake Access in the Halliburton Highland Water Trails. Um, it's around 1.30 in the afternoon on Friday, uh, October 30th, uh, the day before Halloween. And uh, last minute decision today just to come out. Uh, got up this morning and the weather looked fantastic, even though it's supposed to get really cold tonight. Um, well, really cold for October, down to about minus 10, I believe. Um, so I'm gonna do another canoe hot tent trip. Um, I have the canoe and I have the hot tent and everything's actually over at the water. Um, the parking lot here is a bit of a drive uh, to the water. Um, so I just drove down the little dirt road there and uh, unloaded all my stuff in the canoe and parked the car. And now I'm gonna walk down that road uh, to where the canoe is. So I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Well, it's 1.40 and uh, I've got the canoe all loaded up. Beautiful, calm Raven Lake. Um, it's actually called the Deer Lake Access, but I'm pretty sure this is Raven Lake. Um, I booked a site on Raven Lake. Uh, it's just a simple, small, easy, short paddle. And uh, I'm gonna head out. I can't wait to get to my campsite and check it out. Uh, my friend Kevin Callen stayed here a couple of weeks ago. I try to stay away from Access Lakes because you know, there's speed boaters and cottages and all that kind of stuff and being alone, I get kind of scared of that. But um, he said that he didn't see anybody while he was out and it was really nice there. So um, hopefully I have the same experience. So uh, I'm going to get going and uh, I'll see you on the water in a minute. All right, it is 10 to 2 and I am on the water. Um, just took a few minutes to take a bunch of pictures and stuff like that um, before I got in and now I am on my way absolutely gorgeous out here today it's a little chilly but other than that it is just beautiful well, just as I was paddling uh, I saw these seven ducks I think they are just hanging out all together on the water there. And uh, I don't know, hopefully they're okay. <laughs> I think they're ducks. They're definitely not loons. So this really cool rock formation on my left here. And uh, they have water running down them, but the water is frozen. It was pretty cool last night. With the way that the sun is, I'm sure you're going to be able to see it. Pretty cool. This cottage is so cute, the boathouse. I mean, there's little moose on the shutters. They're so adorable. I can help but take a little video. All right, I think that's it for the cottages. And now I'm um, just going around the point uh, and then into the bay where the campsite is. Uh, it's really nice out here. Um, according to the weather network, it's one. Minus one feels like minus three. Um, I had to take off my uh, windbreaker shell because I was too warm. I was sweating and uh, never want to sweat even though I'm going to be in the hot tent probably sweating in there. Uh, I like to keep my clothes as dry as possible uh, when it's chilly out. It looks like there's a lot of uh, wood all around the forest here. Um, so that's good. There's tons and tons of birch trees here. So hopefully I won't have too many problems finding wood for the wood stove. Uh, anyways, I'm just coming around the corner here. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see. I think the water over here on this side is really shallow. Um, I can see the bottom, obviously, I'm close to the shore, but there's a lot of, uh, like what you see right there in front, um, you know, trees sticking out of the water that are dead and stuff like that. So it can't be very deep. I see the campsite sign right ahead. 
ahead and it is in this nice quiet little bay away from all the cottages and the boats and stuff. So it nice, looks like a nice little spot. I was excited to check out my camp and figure out where everything goes and set it up and stuff. So. Uh, well, <laughs> I decided to paddle around the campsite to see if there was a closer takeout. And <laughs> I'm hearing this crunching on the canoe and I wasn't sure what it was. And I looked down, there's a very thin layer of ice on the shore here of the water. Uh, pretty amazed by that. It has not been that cold. But uh, yeah, there it is. Wow. And here I am in like three layers and sweating. So weird. All right, I am on the campsite. It is really a really pretty campsite. Um, just just to show you guys, uh, this is the front out here where I've put the boat. It's up there somewhere. There it is. You can see the bear, the bear vault, uh, the bear vault sitting up on top of the seat. Um, so this little bay here is where the uh, the bit of ice was on the top of the water. Um, it seems like all the water from the lake kind of comes into this corner and it's very very shallow here and uh, That's where the little tiny bit of uh, ice was on the top of the water. The rest of the lake is perfectly open There's no ice. There's no nothing um, it's, it's fine. <laughs> so just for the record there um, I don't want to freak anybody out uh, It's definitely not uh, anywhere near freezing up or anything like that. <laughs> so anyways, here's the campsite. Um, I've decided to put the hot tent here. Found a, a pretty nice flat spot there. Um, and it uh, should be good. Uh, I've got the tent there ready to set up in the pole. And uh, I've got all my stuff unloaded over here. There's a nice little log uh, here beside the fire pit. Uh, so I just kind of threw all my stuff there for now. Um, so this looks like the best spot to me. Uh, I'm going to set it up right here. And uh, that should be just lovely. I'm going to do that now. <laughs> I'm actually, now that I've stopped paddling, I'm starting to get a little bit cooler. So I'm going to get that set up and get everything ready. Uh, it's about 2.30, I think. Um, I took my time getting here. I could have gotten to the campsite pretty quick, maybe a half an hour, 45 minutes in the, at the longest, but um, I was taking videos and pictures and stuff. So I have got the tent set up. Uh, it went up pretty easily. Um, I went to pull out the, the two front parts. Um, just makes it work better when I do that. So um, I couldn't find my rope in my bag. I pulled all the stuff out of my bag. I'm looking for the rope. And then I had all these little pieces, so I tied all these little pieces together. And, um, yeah, then I realized I had my little tarp in there and it has a whole bunch of rope in it. And so I just tied the other side very easily. <laughs> um, I haven't put the stove in yet. I'm going to do that next and then set everything else up. I'm just kind of taking my time piddling around. Um, I went out to get something out of the canoe, though, which is at the front. And it is so nice and warm in the sunshine up there. Um, so as soon as I get everything set up, uh, I'm going to go sit my chair out there and read my book for a bit because it is just beautiful out there in the sun. All right, I've got the tent set up. I've got the stove set up. I even have a little tiny fire burning in there uh, just to start getting the tent warmed up. And um, I'm going to go sit in that beautiful sunshine up there for a little while and uh, get nice and warm. <laughs> Well, I finally made it out here onto the point. I'm sitting in the sunshine. It's absolutely beautiful. The sun is nice and warm on my face, um, but it's still chilly. Uh, I think the temperature right now is about zero. Uh, feels like minus two, um, but it's not like crazy cold. Like I said, in the sunshine, it's much nicer. Um, but it's, uh, it's still nice and warm in the tent, so um, I'm probably going to go back in there in a bit. I think I've been sitting out here for almost an hour. Um, I processed a bunch of wood. There was a whole bunch of wood 
uh, in the back of the campsite that I found there was a nice big log um, that was leaning like this uh, on another log um, so it was nice and dry so I cut up a bunch of pieces of that um, and there was some firewood here but I tried not to touch that pile I just kind of left it um, because I just want to leave it for the next people and then the wood that I cut up I can just use for myself and then there's still wood left here for someone else so um, anyways that's about it uh, just sitting here looking at the water it's super pretty um, I've got like two bays like a bay on either side of me kind of so it's really nice um, I'm assuming uh, well, I'm hoping <laughs> not with my luck but I'm hoping I might see something some wildlife or something Thing. Um, it was nice to see that beaver last weekend and the heron. Um, so I've got, like I said, the two bays. So um, I feel like, you know, maybe I'll see something. Well, I'm sitting here in the hot tent getting rosy again. I have to go back outside. I need to uh, cut up some more wood. I don't think I have enough. I want to be nice and warm. Um, but uh, I don't want to take off my stuff and then go back outside and then go back in. So I'm just going to go back out and finish everything first. But uh, I thought I'd have a little sip of my drink first. Cheers. <laughs> I brought two this time. I didn't even have to carry it anywhere except from the boat to the campsite and from the car to the boat, which was like 20 steps. So um, I figured why not. Yeah, so it's really warm in here though. I have to get back outside or I'm gonna get, <laughs> gonna get too hot. <laughs> All right, I got a bunch more wood. There's a nice piece of birch not too far from here. Uh, it looks a little wet in the middle, um, but it's more like extra wood for me. So what I'm gonna do is um, the next time I open the stove, um, I'll just stick like a piece in the side here and it'll dry out while the rest of the fire is going. And then after a couple of hours, it'll be burnable. I've done it quite a few times before, so. Okay, I feel good about my stash of wood now. Well, <laughs> I'm back in the tent. It's nice and warm. Uh, it's after five o'clock now, so I need to get dinner started. Um, trying something new again. Uh, actually, two new things tonight, so yeah. um, I figured, you know, these are easy trips. I don't have to carry anything. I don't have to pull stuff in on a toboggan. So I'm testing out a bunch of stuff while I, you know, have all these luxuries, right? Um, so today, I'll flip the camera around. Hang on, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Today for dinner I'm trying something new. Um, yesterday after work for the weekend I went to the grocery store and bought a bunch of fun things for myself. Um, this was one of them. Uh, just things I don't normally buy because I don't get to really go out to eat anywhere um, where I live. So uh, I got this nice chicken pot pie. It was in like one of those cardboard boxes like from Sobeys. So somebody actually like made it. <laughs> it's not like frozen. It wasn't frozen. Um, so it's been under here a while and it's actually really hot. I can smell it cooking. Um, so I've got it under there. Uh, if you guys saw last week I cooked a piece of salmon under there. And uh, it took 45 minutes, um, but it was not frozen. And the, the pie isn't frozen either. So I'm um, figuring it's gonna take a bit, but I think it's gonna work. I, I didn't think so at first. I wasn't quite sure, but if you can cook a salmon, <laughs> a piece of salmon underneath there, then I don't see why you can't heat up a pie or cook a pie, right? So um, I also have something new to try for dessert, but uh, we'll do dinner first. All right, so there is the uh, wet piece of birch that I had, and uh, the other ones are on either side of the stove there. Um, I just grabbed a piece of wood from there, but uh, one of them will get stacked up. And then uh, what I'm gonna do as soon as the, uh, the pie is done, I'll put them all underneath the stove, and they should dry out really good there. Actually, that piece of birch has just caught fire on the outside, so looks like it's not as wet as I thought it was. So there's all these really big pieces of uh, birch laying around all over. You can see them, they're like all over the campsite. Um, so what I did was I used two of them to hold up the, um, the poles that hold the pipe. Uh, they weren't going in the ground very deep, so just put them on either side. Once you put the weight down um, from the pipe, it usually won't move anyways, but just to be safe. Uh, and then I took the other ones and like there was a big gap here in the front, right? So there's like cold air coming in. It's not so bad right now, but at nighttime when I'm laying on the ground, I can really feel it. Um, again, it's not winter or anything, so, and usually I put snow on that, but there's no snow. <laughs> so I just put it around where my bedding is especially, 
um, where I'm going to be sleeping so that, you know, it doesn't fly up and I don't get like a cold draft coming up um, on my head. So I think that'll make it a, a little warmer. Not that it's cold in there. It's nice and hot in there now. Fire's going good, as you can see. You know what it smells like in here? Chicken pot pie. <laughs> it smells so good. It's got to be almost done. It's really hot. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make sure I cook it nice and good. I don't think it's, it's not like I'm going to dry it out or anything, I don't think so. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. It's cozy. I was just outside for a bit, walking around, looking at stuff. And uh, it's still sunny out. Sun's just about to drop down. I guess you can't see it. <laughs> the sun is just about to drop down below the trees. Really pretty out here, see? It's nice, eh? So I just went out to do a few things and uh, take some pictures. And now I'm back in here in the nice, warm, warm, warm hot tent. <laughs> The hot hot tent. Oh, and it smells so yummy. I hope the bears are sleeping or there aren't any around here because they might be coming to get some pie. It smells good. I hear something outside. Of course, not where the window is. As soon as I open the door, don't you get spilled again, drink. What's over here? Oh, it's a bird. It's not what I was expecting at all. Hello, little bird. He went around the tree. I don't know what it is. Oh. Looks like a little sparrow. Hi, buddy. It then oh there goes the sun bye sun thank you for a lovely bright and sunny day all right i got my caesar salad made up and uh, put the dressing on it um it is 5 58 i put the uh the pie under here at 5 uh 508 so it's been 50 minutes the top is getting brown as you can see um and it looks pretty nice so um oh yeah and you can tell it's kind of a little bit more squishy than it was before. I think it might be done, so I'm going to cut into it. Um, I don't want to ruin it, but, you know, whatever. I'm going to eat it anyways. So, it's like I said last week, like, I'd rather make sure that my food is cooked and I don't get sick than have it be beautiful. So, I might have to touch that, so, hang on. The answer is yes. It's hot. I'm going to eat it. All right, well, I flipped the pie over onto the one plate and then flipped it over onto the other plate. So, got a little messed up, but it's gonna be delicious. It smells so good and I like the fork and it's pretty tasty. So, I'm gonna go eat and uh, I'll be back in a bit. Bon appetit to me. <laughs> well, my dinner was incredibly delicious. <laughs> I'm very full, so I'll be waiting to make my special dessert. Uh, sun's gone down, not too much of a sunset, um, but it's still pretty. Uh, temperature's dropping now pretty good, and uh, I'm sitting in the hot tent with my tank top on, so I'm all good. <laughs> well, it is 6.40, and all is very calm and quiet here on Raven Lake. A little bit of a hint of the sunset still. Yeah. Darkness is approaching quickly. Temperature is also dropping very quickly and it's very cold out here in my tank top. So I'm going back into my tent. All right, here is my special dessert that I brought. <laughs> so I always buy those tubes of um, chocolate chunk cookie dough uh, at the store and I just keep them in my fridge. Um, for when I want to make a couple cookies because I don't make like a whole package um, So I brought enough dough for three cookies and I'm gonna put them under the stove 
and see if they cook. <laughs> I just took a little peek see out of my tent and look at what's there. I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's way in back behind the trees, but there is a beautiful, looks like a big full moon. So when that comes up, that is gonna be gorgeous. Well, I went outside to get some more pictures of the moon <laughs> and I came back in and I was like, what is that smell? <laughs> I totally forgot about the cookies. I did set a timer, ouch. I set a timer for 10 minutes, so. Ooh, they're coming along. I think that's gonna work. I don't see why it wouldn't, I mean. I heated up and baked a pie, pretty much, and uh, did a salmon last weekend, so I'm really getting excited about the uh, potential for these uh, under-the-stove cooking things. Maybe I'll put this on the top of the stove just to brown the bottom. Um, I don't think the bottoms are brown. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to grab my spatula. Hang on. All right, let's see. No, it's kind of gooey. Yeah, the bottom's gooey. The bottom needs to get nice and brown. Yeah, the bottom's gooey. I just gotta, I think, put it up top for a couple minutes and brown the bottoms, and then should be good to go. All right, my cookies are done. They look really good. Um, hopefully, they taste good. They took a little while to make, but that's all. Okay. That's okay. I have nothing else to do. I'm gonna try one, see how they are. One of my cookies, there's the bottom, so you got nice and brown. And the top, it's really hot. I might burn my mouth on it. Ooh. Mm. That's a good cookie. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat these. I'll see you later. Should have made a hot chocolate to go with them. It's never too late. Bye. <laughs> Mm. Hot. Uh, it's been a little bit since I made a video. I'm just sitting here chilling. Um, <clears throat> I've had my two palm bays. It was quite a while ago. Actually, I finished the second one just after dinner. Um, actually, just after the cookies, uh, which were lovely. Um, just sitting here listening to an audio book and uh, hanging out in the hot tent. I'm in the bed. Um, just in my sleeping bag, my legs were cold. Um, I didn't want to sit in the chair anymore. I get kind of tired of sitting in the same spot the whole time. So um, first I sat on the bed and then my legs were cold because it's a lot colder down by the, the floor, obviously, or the ground than it is like up here. I mean, just two feet difference is like huge in the temperature. Um, so yeah, so I thought, well, I'll just stick my legs in there. So just sitting here and uh, chilling. I heard a barred owl earlier, um, but that was about it. It's been pretty quiet. No loons, uh, nothing much. Uh, there is a beautiful big moon out. Um, I'm going to uh, take a video when I go out next and I'll show it to you. Um, I've been waiting for it to kind of rise up above the trees. So uh, it's probably almost doing that because I can see I can see like the light shining on the front of the tent, but it's just on the, the bottom right corner right now. So um, I'm pretty sure I should be able to, to get a nice uh, view of it the next time I go out, um, which will be just before I go to bed, which will probably be very soon. I'm getting very tired. Well, there's the beautiful moon. Head is being uh, clouded by the smoke from my fire course going right in front of it. It's so funny. Just turned off all my lights to go to sleep and I can actually see the moon through the top of the tent. There it is. Yeah, you can add a little bit. This one's darker in the video than it is in real life. Like, I can make out pretty much everything in the tent. I can see everything. Oh, it's five in the morning and I just came out to use the privy. The moon is absolutely stunning. I just spent a few minutes taking these photos. The video didn't come out very good, but the pictures look amazing. And uh, I'm going back into the tent and back to bed. It is minus 13 right now.
Good morning. It is 7.07 .07 on Saturday, October 31st. It's Halloween, everybody. And there is an amazing full moon just dropping behind the trees. It's very eerie looking. Ooh. It's also very cold, so I'm going back in the hot tent. So the bay beside my campsite is all frozen. <laughs> um, this is where I was yesterday when I came in and there was a thin skim just around the edge. Um, it is now pretty much all the way out to here. <laughs> um, but the water is open uh, everywhere else where I need to paddle. Uh, where I brought the boat in yesterday, right here, uh, there's a thin bit of ice. I broke it up with the paddle already. I just wanted to see how thick it was and um, it's not a problem to get out. Uh, there's also a um, another place I can put the boat in uh, right beside where the tent is actually um, that is not frozen. So that's good. <laughs> I'm not trapped. <laughs> well, good morning and happy Halloween from the hot tent. Uh, I think it will almost be December when this video publishes, but happy Halloween. Hope you guys had a great Halloween. Um, the sun is up, um, but I cannot see it from here. Uh, I was kind of disappointed. Um, I just went out and looked around. I can see a little bit of the sun on the tops of the trees, but it's in down in that bay um, in behind. And uh, unlike what I said yesterday, I'm not doing a sunrise paddle this morning. Uh, it's about minus 13 right now. It's very cold and there's a skim of ice uh, around the edges of the lake, uh, around the shoreline. Um, so I'm gonna wait. Uh, it's supposed to warm up quite a bit in the next couple hours. So um, I'm gonna start breakfast. I am having something I've never had in the backcountry today again. So today I am making French toast um, with bacon. I already have the bacon pre-cooked, so I just have to heat that up. And uh, I forgot my cinnamon, so I was kind of mad about that. I was on my way here paddling, and I was like, ah, oh, crap. Um, but, oh well, that's okay. I could have forgot something more important like the eggs, so I guess it's not a huge deal. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to get that going, and um, I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit after 8. Sun is, sun is up out there. I was just getting up to look out my window. Um, the sun is out there somewhere. It's not here. I can't see it. Um, my stove's pretty hot, so I think I'm going to attempt to make this breakfast. Uh, so what I brought was two pieces of D'Italiano bread or uh, Bellagio, I'm not sure which, but I like that kind. It's really nice and squishy. Um, got my pot here that I brought in case I wanted to make some hot water for hot chocolate, which I have not. Um, I'm gonna use this to uh, put the eggs in and then dunk the bread in, because I don't need it for anything else. Um, got my bacon here, which is pre-cooked already. I just have to heat it up after I uh, make the French toast. Got some syrup here in this uh, lovely old vitamin container. I love using containers like this. So I'll just put a piece of saran wrap over it just to make sure it doesn't spill, but get that all ready. And uh, got my eggs. That's pretty much it. So I'm going to crack the eggs into the little pot here. And uh, whisk them up and then dunk the toast in and then put it in the frying pan. It shouldn't be too hard. Never brought French toast camping. Um, I have done pancakes because they're a lot easier because you just have the powder. Um, I have a garbage underneath the camera. <laughs> okay, let's put that there for a second. <laughs> I was afraid the eggs were going to be frozen because they were outside last night and uh, it was down to minus 14, so. All right, eggs are in the pot. So I was mixing up the eggs in the pot. I'm going to dunk my bread in here. I'll fork back. Squishy, squishy. All right, there's my French toast. Toasting. <laughs> Shouldn't take long. 
Well, my French toast is cooking nicely. I've got the bacon on the side of the pan warming up and uh, should be done very soon. It smells delicious in here. So uh, that's another first for food. I think this is a, a food first weekend. I found the sun. There it is. <laughs> Hope it warms things up quick. All right, there's my breakfast, uh, French toast with syrup and bacon. It smells amazing, it looks good, and I'm going to go eat because I am starving. Well, it's 10 to 10. The sun is up and warming things up a little bit. Um, I've packed up pretty much everything from the inside of the hot tent except the stove. Uh, this morning I brought the canoe back over here um, because there was sun and my seat was actually frozen. And you can actually see here <laughs> the part that the sun hasn't touched yet um, is still a bit frozen. So uh, I also put the boat in the water and kind of rocked it back and forth and I broke up all the ice here. So that's not a problem. Got my backpack already in here and the bear vault. Um, so I just have to do the uh, like I said, the wood stove, uh, empty it out in the fire pit and uh, douse it with water really well and then uh, take down the hot tent. So shouldn't be too long until I'm on my way. All right, it is about 10.30 on Saturday morning. I've got the canoe all packed up and ready to go. Um, temperature is now sitting at about minus seven, feels like minus 10, um, but in the sunshine, it's fine. I if you told me that it was minus two or minus three, I'd probably believe you because it doesn't feel uh, much colder than that. Um, I have decided to kind of just go down in that little bay a little bit and just take a peek at what's there. So I'm gonna do that and uh, then I will slowly make my way out. All right, without too much trouble, I am in the canoe. Broke through the ice, no problem. I had already uh, got most of it and uh, I'm free. Just paddling down uh, into this little bay to the right of my campsite uh, to take a peek and see what's here. Oh, I can see the end of the bay here. I was hoping maybe there'd be a deer or something sitting around. Maybe a beaver or something. Crane. But there doesn't appear to be anything out. I guess they're out trick-or-treating. Water is extremely shallow here. It's only about a foot and a half deep maybe right now where I am. I can barely paddle in it. So I'm going to turn around and make my way back out. Really pretty though. <laughs> Alright, well I am just making my way uh, back out towards Raven Lake. Well, I'm on Raven Lake, but uh, the part that I have to take to get back to the car. Um, I just wanted to make a note that this video is probably not going to uh, be published until the end of November, early December. Um, it is only October. Uh, I will be wearing my dry suit if I do any further trips um, by canoe uh, this year. Um, because the water is getting really cold now. Um, I am taking all the safety precautions necessary. Uh, I always wear my PFD. Um, I have training, lots of training. Um, I have my level one, level two, sea kayaking course, basic instructor, my level one to four canoeing, wilderness first aid. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm very serious about what I do out here um, and I don't want anyone to you know, go out and do the same thing if you are not as equally qualified um, to do so at this time of year. Um, because the water is extremely cold, I don't want to see anything happen to anyone. Um, I do have my dry bag kit, uh, you know, in case something happens, um, which is totally waterproof. It has a, a lighter, a way to start a fire, a set of dry clothes, um, all of that. I have cell service here. I have my beacon with me. There are cottages around, there are people around. So um, there is a lot of reasons why I came to this place um, and camped here instead of going to 
you know, let's say Tamagami or Algonquin or somewhere bigger. Um, I choose these small places and these easy accesses um, because of the time of year. So keep that in mind. If you guys are out tripping, you know, at this time of year in October, November, December, you know, be cautious, be safe. Let people know where you are. Make sure you have training. Make sure you have dry clothes. Um, always wear your PFD. I know it's not a law, but just wear it. It doesn't hurt. It's actually nice and cozy warm for me today. It's like wearing a little, a little uh, a ski vest, so it's nice. And um, just be safe out there, guys. Like, I don't want anyone to get hurt. Um, so please just be careful, okay? All right, I'm gonna keep paddling. Sorry for the big long rant, but I just want everyone to be safe. There are too many people out there drowning right now, and I don't wanna see it happen anymore. Well, it's just a few minutes after 11, and I am already in the uh, other side of the lake and uh, not too far from the access. Um, it seems like the only place on the lake that had ice <laughs> was where I was. Um, everywhere else is all open water. Um, the icicles were on the, the cliff there like they were yesterday, but other than that, even like on the shore, by the cottages, by the docks, shallow water, everywhere, <laughs> there is no ice on the water. It just seemed to be where I was. <laughs> That's the only place. So, just wanted to point that out. All right, well, I'm just about at the access takeout. And um, just wanted to say, had a great time. Um, I'm really glad I came out. Um, I know I've been doing a lot of one-nighter trips lately. Uh, I like to mix things up, as you guys know. I would love to be out doing a seven-day uh, Tamagami portaging trip every single week, but I can't do that. Um, you know, we all have jobs and things that we have to do and mortgages to pay, so um, I get out whenever I can. I love these little one-nighters. I think they're great. It's uh, enough time for me to get out and de-stress and uh, enjoy myself and be outside for a little while. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the adventures. Just to note that when canoeing season is over, these videos will not stop. I am a year-round camper, so uh, I camp in the winter, as you saw in my hot tent today. Um, I'll be taking that out uh, with the toboggan and doing lots of winter adventures, so please stay tuned. I hope to see you guys over the winter. Um, everybody, please stay safe. Don't go out on the water if you're not prepared uh, for it. Um, cold weather season is definitely upon us and I want everybody to stay safe. I don't want to see anybody else drowning. So um, before you go out, make sure that you are qualified to be out there. Make sure you've got the right gear. Make sure you've got your safety kit ready and uh, pick places that are easy and that uh, people are around so that, you know, if something does happen, you've got a way out. All right, always think ahead. See you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.